Special thanks to Beck Savage for today's submission. May your gases be sweet smelling and breathable to humans. Rusty Quill presents Stella Firma. In the year 2260, the Earth died, and the light of humanity went out. But then, someone found a light switch. Stella Firma Limited offered humankind a new way forward aboard their specialist fabrication vessels. There was no more luxurious or available way to escape the coming catastrophe. When presented with our new forward-thinking proposition, the former populars of Earth almost unanimously volunteered themselves and their genetic legacies to be permanent citizen employees of Stella Firma Limited. But wait, there's more. When Stella Firma Limited encountered the intergalactic business community, we were able to pivot our modus operandi and offer our high-grade environmental fabrication technology to the galaxy's most desirable entities. Fast forward 900 years and we are still here and doing what we do best, making your dreams come true. Stella Firma Limited. With us, you're on firm ground. and I appear to be covered in goo. Good birth to you, and welcome to your new life as an employee assist of Stella Firma Limited. You are very important to us, and we know you have a bright future ahead of you. Your name is David Seven, and you have been assigned to assist in the design consultation department. You have been assigned to consultants. You take your questions and shove them up your arm. And I'm sure you will get on statistical abnormality with them. If you have any questions, please direct them to your line manager, who will visit you shortly. Have a wonderful... Oh. Well, I, I suppose, um... What do I... Oh, a prong. Hello, prong. <laughs> Management and design module enabled. Enrollment initiated. Enrollment accepted. Lessons begin. Lessons completed. Optional arts module disabled. The optional speech and confidence module disabled. Classical and modern dance module disabled. Compliance and deference module dis and dis and dis and dis and dis and error we Education completed. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh. my lovelies. Hartro here. I would love to be with you in person to welcome the newest member of our little family, but unfortunately I am not. Nevertheless, welcome David Seven. You are going to make a wonderful addition to our little family here. I am sure that you and Trexel will get along like a shuttle on fire. Isn't that right, Trexel? Who's Trexel? Wonderful! Well, you um, boys get acquainted and I, today's I design brief will be in your vacuum inbox by nine so that you can begin. Ciao for now, darlings. Hello? Oh, well, well that seems important. Um, can anyone... Hello? No? I'll, um... I'll just wait here then, shall I?
Cankering sore on Saturn's ass. You're in my uh, board stamp chair. Sh- get up. Uh, get up. Uh, yes. Okay. Get up. No, yes. Get into the other chair. Going, into the yes, other chair. Uh, Ow. Oh, this isn't very comfortable. Guys up. Bav, what the hell are you? Uh, I'm uh, David Seven. Oh, God, you're a new one, aren't you? A new... A biofacsimile, a clone man, a clone. Uh, yes, yes, I am. Oh, move over. Oh, d- d- yes, oh... Y- right, uh, to business, boy, to business. I suppose you've already looked at the brief, I um, hope. No, it's, um, it's, it's trapped Why the... haven't you looked at the brief well, yet? It's in a box and it's secure. I can't get God it God protect us. A slacker, right? I'll no, get it, I, I just, suppose. I'll, I'll just walk over there and have, get it. I think it says here you have to. Here you go. Take it, take it. Okay, right, Right. Okay. Um. Uh, the, the the brief. And what does it say? Um. Um. Well, it's from uh, nurturer, one hundred and sixty three of the superfluous tentacle. Mm-hmm. Um. They want a new hatch world for the many limbed peoples of Zacroon Seven. They also need plenty of toys for the innumerable hordes of many tendrilled larvae to play with and oceans. Just at the right shade of boiling? Ah, this is a tricky one. I'm not going to lie to you, David. You've picked a bad day to be born. Oh, oh. Now, we're going to have to make quite an intricate little world for these many tentacled things. Right. And it's going to be tricky, and you're going to have to work with me. And because I'm incredibly late, don't comment, it is going to be a hard ask. So are you going to come with me, David, or are you going to push against me? Uh, no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm definitely with you. Uh, who are you? Who am I? Yes. Who am I? Yes. Who am I? Yes. I? Who? Yes. Trexel Geistman. You're Trexel. Yes, the Uh, Trexel Geistman. The the voice said about Trexel. Yes, well, that's me. That is I. I is he. You are Trexel. You've not done any research. You've not heard of me. I've been alive for seven hours. Seven hours should have been long enough for you to learn about the Trexel Geistman. I'm trapped in a room. I'll trap you in my room. I am trapped in your room. Excellent. Then we're already out of schedule. So, we need to get Nurture 116 the superfluous tentacle, a lovely new home for their Hatchling. Yes. What do we know about the superfluous tentacle? The superfluous tentacle are a cult, David, and it's always a cult with these people. Uh, it sounds like it if they're a cult. I'm gonna guess they have tentacles. Excellent work, David. Your deduction skills surprise even me. Oh, thank you. Yes, they have not and only plenty of tentacles, but they have more tentacles than they need, and that is a major feature of this client, David. It cannot be overlooked, okay. even for a moment. All right, yes, right. right. Well... Um, it sounds like we need very specifically boiling seas. Um, I assume the hatchlings live under the sea? David, you're panicking, you're panicking, you're getting ahead of itself. How can we have a sea without a planet? How can uh, we do that, uh, David? A bucket, look at me, a look at me, bucket. look at me. Uh, yes. Calm down. Okay. I'm calm. Easy now. I'm calm. Hold my hand. Don't yes. touch me, David. No. It's too impersonal. No. no. Okay. We need an excellent home world yes. for these hatchlings. They're babies. They're frightened. It's alarming being born. I should know. I've done it. And so have you. So I'd expect you to uh, have more empathy about this. I'm, um, well, I've only met you, so... Okay, yes, fine. You've just been born. Yes. Imagine you're a hatchling. Oh, oh look at you. Look at you. Oh, you're lots, of, lots of tentacles. Yes. Oh. What do you want? What do you want in the world? What's the first thing that you need to um, see? And that will tell us what this planet needs to be. A feeding tube. A feeding tube. A feeding tube. Yes, sustenance. Sustenance. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. The planet is a big feeding trough. Yes. Okay. A trough-shaped planet. Now, I know what you're going to say, David. That's a weird idea. That's a weird idea, but you've got to go with me this on, David. You've got to go with me on okay, this. Okay, trough we've, planet. Trough planet. Trough planet. Not a traditional shape. No, but when was Trexel Geisman known for traditional I shapes? Have absolutely no context for that. Exactly, I'm going to- exactly right, David. Everybody's doing spheres. Spheres are boring. They're last century. We need new shapes. Rhomboids. They're squares. Spheres are very physically... Troughs. Yes. Stable. Correct, David. Troughs are excellent. Troughs. Okay, yes. yes. So, we need a, a trough planet. Right, so the trough is full of sea? Boiling sea? The trough is full of boiling sea, and the hatchlings placed within it are being nurtured, and they're being raised, and they're being helped to adulthood, and the nurturer, 163 three of superfluous tentacle can visit and see how well their hatchlings are doing. Right. Okay. So, do we have any idea how many hatchlings this nurturer is going to have? All right, I'll check the files. Uh, Zerkreen 7, count. file. Last. Uh, it's, uh, 
around 600,432 or thereabouts for next year's hatch. Okay, right, so reasonably large. It's Maybe a reasonably the... large amount. Not too many, though. Size of a moon. Size of a moon. Right. Trough it... moon. Trough moon. Trough moon. Put it in orbit around another planet. Excellent. It saves on heating bills. Yes. Around a sun. Around a sun. Boil the water with the power of the sun. Yes. It means you don't have to deal with generators. I hate dealing with generators, it's, David. It's... I don't have to tell you. They're complicated. They break down. You're I don't understand me. them. You're telling I'm me. I'm telling you, David. You're telling Come me. Come on. Right, so, specific orbit, uh, some sort of boiling Goldilocks mm. zone. A Goldilocks zone. Yes. Not too hot, but still extremely hot, yes. which is just right. The specific Goldilocks for the person. It, I like it. I a like boiling it, David. Goldilocks. Do we need an elliptical orbit? Do we want it to vary temperature throughout the year? Uh, in the summer it's hotter, in the winter it's cooler, what? but it's always a nurturing place. They Come are. to the tentacle planet and you'll have a lovely human race. No, wait, different race. What race of those tentacles? I'm getting tired of your attitude. Uh, I'm sorry. Excellent. You're doing well. Okay. So we're having an elliptical orbit, so the temperature changes throughout the year. How well, long will the year be? I'm going to say a week. Write that down. A okay. Week. A, w- a, a week. year is a week. A year is a week. A year is a wonderful week. Wonderful thing about years. Whenever you're That's building, wonderful thing about years. Whenever you're building a new planet. You get to decide how long the year is. That's very quick. It's very quick. The water might spill out of the trough. Where would it spill to, David? In space? space? Yes. Space, you're right. It'll spill out into space, and then we'll have to refill it, and then all of the monetary savings we make on the generators will be lost in water. Come on, David, you've got to think about this stuff. Okay, maybe a slower, or maybe a year should last... A year. That's novel, but I like it, David. You're thinking. You're using that little bobble on the top of your neck that you seem to think is a head. I, I'm pretty confident it is a head. Excellent stuff. Confidence is my king. Are you my king? Y- yes. Boards, wounds. You're no king of mine. There are no kings. No kings. Only man and board. The board. Hey, the, board. the board. Excellent. So, an orbit is one year. I like that. I like Yes, 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 yes. The water will stay where it needs to be. Yes coming to think of it as will the hatchlings we don't want them spilling it out across the solar system Nutra might annoy that ever had a hatchling hit you on your spacecraft's windshield when you're doing a really high speed I have never driven a spaceship and I have been in here for the last seven hours and that is all I can remember neither can I I took my license away when I got drunk and killed that star so we're on the same page okay yes Uh, so we have the orbit, mm-hmm. nice and boiling. Boiling. Uh, we'll have to get the the. Is it the build team? Don't reference the build team but directly. They're... It encourages them. These recordings go straight to the build team. Oh, and recorded. Their response. David, I am not a babysitter. We are building a planet. But that I'm is a baby. I do I look like a planet, David? You're uh, a baby. I'm You're a baby. A baby. Why, why, baby, cry? Why, why, baby, cry? Because baby needs a smack. No. Well, then, baby should shut its hole. Baby needs a feeding tube. Feeding tubes I'm are so for hungry. Feeding tubes are for winners, David. You know that. And currently, you look like a big sack of loss to me. Oh. Profit and emotion, David. Profit and emotion. Demotion. Emotion. Emotion. Do you want a demotion? I don't think demotion. you can. I don't want a demotion. Question. You can't be demoted, David, because there's demotion. nothing below you. Denied. Even the floor is above you. Oh. Don't question me. Yes. Okay, so we have the uh, planet now. We have a trough. Yes, David. And you know what, David? Yes? I think you were a big part of that. Well done. I'm really enjoying my time with you. Oh, thank you. Shush now. So, we need a way of getting the hatchlings into the trough and out of the trough without dying. Because if there's one thing that every species hates, it's the killing of their children due to unnecessary mechanics. I think we can all agree that. Yes. 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 So, how do you carefully move a hatchling from the gentle, boiling nursery area to the hot and frothy teenage area out towards the conveyor belt of adulthood? Um, well, I came down a chute. A chute? A chute. A chute? Yeah, just opened up and dumped me in this room. Mm-hmm. Did you enjoy that? Was it soft? No. Did you have an egg? Do you have an egg around you? Uh, no. Mm-hmm. I worry that the eggs might crack if a chute just dumped something onto the floor. Right, so maybe a very shallow shoot. A shallow shoot. A shallow shoot. A shallow shoot on a trough moon. Yes, the shallow shoot. You know the how ridiculous you sound. A shallow shoot. On a trough moon? Yes. It needs to be a steep shoot, but with a big cushion surface at the end. This is oh. basic stuff, David. Yes. I can't be expected to carry you through this process. You'll never survive. Yes. Steep shoot. Steep shoot. Nice soft landing. Tell you what, David. Roleplay. 
Role play holiday initiated. Easy for you. Yes, it's me, David Seven, the baby. You're in a shell. I'm in a shell. I'm in a shell. I'm trapped in a shell. Yes, good mind work, David. Yes, good I'm mind in work. A shell. Yes, you're rolling down a steep chute. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sides of grease. It's nice and soft. Yes, that's how it is. That's how it is. Oh, this is very comfortable. And as you fly out the end, wee, and you land on Oof. a wonderful pillow. And then you tumble gently into the next stage. Splosh. Now you're an adolescent. How do you feel? You're an adolescent teenager. Um, I hate you, Dad. Yes? I'm going to play my music far too loud. Exactly. And it will confuse and scare you because it doesn't sound like the things you listen to when you were a teenager. And that's because? I am angry. Yes. And confused. Exactly. And full of hormones. Exactly. The Geistman 3. Yes. So what we need is baffling. Sound baffling, because what parent doesn't want more than to not be able to hear their teen? Okay, so how long does it take superfluous larvae to germinate? Oh, Bored only knows. I don't even know if we've got that on file. We're going to have to work it out. Right, so uh, 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 one of these things is about a foot high, and it comes about three foot high. How long does it take to do two feet? Uh, two feet. Two feet of growth. Come on, come two on. Two feet of growth. Um, 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 uh... You're going to have to commit to something because it's going in the plan. Three years. Three years. Excellent. It's three years now. I really hope you researched that well, David, because I... if you didn't, this is going to be an absolute disaster. Wait, no. Three years. It... Locked in. Okie dokie. Uh... So, you're moving to adulthood. Okay. You've got past the awkward stage. Sure. You've seen genitals. Good. You know what yes. they are. Yes, I know what genitals look like. You're an adult now. Definitely know what genitals look like. Right. Um, I want my own form of transportation and I want to move out. Mum, you're stifling my creativity. A spaceport. A spaceport with ready shuttles to take each new adult away on some sort of gap year. Yes. And as a cult, they probably don't want to do some kind of mission thing. I forgot all about the cult. David, you can't let me forget about the cult. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, oh, no. I'm checking the brief. They also need toys. They need toys. (gasps) David... We're nearly at the end, David. I'm sorry. That is an integral part. I was caught up in the role play. This is falling apart I, like a I wet I lived face. a life. I lived an entire life. Role play okay. Holovision terminated. This is important, David. Yes? What's fun? What's fun? What's fun? You get one object. It has to be fun. We don't have time to do more than one. We have to have one uh, omni toy. An to omni toy. To allow fun. Both so larvae, I have adolescents and adults. Lots and lots of tentacles. Yes, you've got loads um, of tentacles. Part of a cult. Yes, superfluous tentacle cult. Ah, uh, some kind of very complicated sacrificial dagger. David, you're beautiful. Your mind is a poised sponge of information and I'm underneath David with my mouth open and I'm yeah. squeezing <gasps> and out comes delicious uh, morsels of wonder. Yes, uh, a ceremonial dagger of deeply complicated design. Kids and adults yes. all can play with a dagger hilt for you today. Spatial learning. That's what I've been told. Don't complicate oh. things, David. Let them interpret it and then you can't be wrong. Okay. Okay. So a big bucket full of very sharp objects. For the kids. Well done, yes. David. I think we have absolutely nailed this one. And by the looks really? of it, just in the nick of time, we're just running down. So we need to submit this pretty much now. Excellent. Otherwise, we'll miss the deadline and yes. you will be immediately recycled. But what? of course, you know how to submit these. Of course, David, I don't need to tell you. Uh, uh, David, I don't need to tell you. D- d- David, do I need to tell you how to submit a brief? E- Board, preserve me, David. Right, take the notes, the notes, come on, David, the notes, notes you've been making. I have, I have the notes. Put them in the tube. Okay, okay, they're in the tube. They're in the tube now. Yes, David, and, and, and then, then I, what? I close the tube. Come on, David. And then I put all the cap, and I put, I put it Three in the tube. Three David. I put it in the tube and I hit submit. I hit submit. Submitting. David, you've done it. You've survived. Uh, well done, David. Uh, you know, 80% uh, of the assistants don't, so congratulations. Oh. Well done. Now, obviously, we're not quite uh, through the woods yet. Oh. We've got a... An approval process to get through. What? Well, that will go to Hartro and the build team. She'll assess it for uh, for content regulation, and they'll assess it for engineering feasibility, and then assuming both of those work... The big trough. The big trough, yes. The big trough full of boiling water. And assuming it's absolutely fine and can be built without much difficulty, then you'll be absolutely fine and you won't die. Oh. Best of luck, David. I'll see okay. you uh, probably same time tomorrow. Yes? Okay. Wait, no. Wonderful. What about Excellent. Earlier? Have no, a lovely no, afternoon. Earlier, Bye-bye. Earlier. Um. Oh. <sighs> oh. 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 Okay. Right. 
Stella Firmer is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill Limited and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. It was created by Tim Meredith and Ben Meredith and produced by Lowry Ann Davis with executive producer Alexander J. Newell. In today's episode, Imogen was played by Imogen Harris. David Seven was played by Ben Meredith. Hartro Piltz was played by Jenny Halfeck. And Drexel Geisman was played by Tim Meredith. The episode was edited by Edward von Adekas and Alexander J. Newell, with music by Samuel D.F. Jones and artwork by Annika Khan. To subscribe, buy merchandise, or join our Discord, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at the Rusty Quill. Join our Reddit community on r slash rustyquill. Visit us on Facebook or email us via mail at rustyquill.com. May the board preserve and keep you.